All right, gamers, you are watching a new episode of What You Gaming On, the video series where we begin every episode by asking you, the viewer and the gamer, what are you gaming on? If you want to tell me what you're gaming on, let me know in the comments or on any of my social media and tell me what game you're playing, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and your answer will, 100% will, be featured in an upcoming episode of What You Gaming On. We don't have any entries for this week, so we're going to go ahead and jump into what I've been gaming on and it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone because it's pretty much what the entire world gaming community is at this point gaming on Red Dead Redemption 2 I had a lot of worries well not a lot of worries I had one big worry about this game in the time that it's been announced in the few years that has been announced and has finally launched I had one big worry about this game and that it wouldn't be able to live up to the hype that fans, myself included, have built up for this game. Red Dead Redemption, the first Red Dead Redemption from Rockstar, came out uh, 2009 or 2010. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was 2010, but it was 2009 or 2010 that Red Dead Redemption 2 came out and it was just met with such acclaim it just everyone who played it loved it as far as i saw everyone who played it loved it it was just it was a fantastic game and in my opinion was the best game rockstar had put out up until uh put out until grand theft auto 5 came out so this game was just met with a lot of applause like everyone loved this game and it's been eight years so almost a decade that we've been waiting for for red dead redemption 2 and it's not that it was announced soon after red dead redemption came out that they were going to make a sequel we just we wanted a sequel for it and we've been waiting for almost a decade which isn't even well maybe it's close to the amount of time i'm waiting for a kingdom hearts 3 game to come out but that's for another video uh but we've been waiting a long time for this game and in that time we have just built up what Red Dead Redemption 2 could look like, what what it's going to be like, and how is it going to be even better than the first Red Dead Redemption, because Red Dead Redemption wasn't the greatest game graphically, although for that time, it, the graphics were, were solid for that time. It wasn't the best third-person shooter of that time. It was just a, just all of the moving pieces of it worked really well, and it gave you this, at the time, as close as you get, as close as you could get, an authentic Wild Wild West experience. But now Red Dead Redemption 2 has come out, and I have to say that all of my worries were for naught because not only does this game meet the hype that at least I put on it, not only does it meet that hype, it exceeds it. This game is just so good like i really like I, i've really tried and i've played a good bit of it i'm I, I don't think i'm at the end but i think i'm at the point or i'm rather close to the point that would be considered close to the end of the game which it doesn't even say that i still i only have a little bit more until i beat the game because this game is massive uh it's it's it's, it's probably as big if not bigger than The Witcher 3 with DLC stories next to it. It's just, it's a massive game. And I've actually been comparing it a lot uh, to Witcher 3 in terms of just gameplay and just a lot of different factors that I'm about to get into. But it is just a really good game. And I can't really find all that, I, I can't find really anything, any big critique of the game that, you know, I would say this doesn't work or I wish this was better. Like everything it does, it just, it works really well. But the biggest thing, for me anyway, that Red Dead, Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 does, that as far as I've seen so many other games have tried to do, but have not quite met the mark, but this game absolutely does, and it offers a truly immersive video game experience. I keep calling this game the Westworld of video games, and not just because Red Dead Redemption 2 is a Western game, but because it really does immerse you in this experience of the Wild West of 1899 America, even if you're in, you know, made-up states like New Austin and Lemoyne, which, well, I'm going to talk about Lemoyne later on, um, but it really does immerse you in an experience, and one of the ways it does that is actually one of the things that when the when information about the game was coming out, I was actually worried about. When we were getting information, just bits and pieces about what we can expect in Red Dead Redemption 2, one of the things, is really the only thing that made me like kind of like, oh, I'm not going to like that, 
uh, was they said it was going to have survival aspects within the game, specifically that you would have to you you would have to you know feed and bathe and get haircuts of your character Arthur Morgan. And I hate that in video games. I hate I I hate's a strong word. I don't like as much as other aspects of a game a the survival elements of a game. And they did these they they had these same kind of elements in. Rockstar's earlier game, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, where you had to feed, where you had to at least feed your character, Carl Johnson, CJ. You had to, like, every now and then stop in at a restaurant and get some food or he's going to start losing health and die. Uh, and I hated that. It was my least favorite thing about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. As, as, as much as I loved the rest of that game, I hated that aspect of it. It was just annoying. It was tedious. But then again, you also had cheat codes for it, which at that time, the Grand Theft Auto 3 to San Andreas era of gaming was like the golden age of cheat codes. So, you know, you got the invincibility cheat and you didn't really have to worry about it anymore. Um, but they were basically reintroducing those aspects into Red Dead and Red Dead Redemption 2, and I was super worried about it. I, I was like, um, I'm afraid I'm not going to like that. But now that I'm playing it, those survival aspects are one of my favorite parts of the game. Like, you know, usually, usually things like that just feel so tedious. But in this game... I actually enjoy like taking a taking a break on whatever journey I'm on to go stop in at the saloon, get some dinner, get a drink, maybe play some poker and gamble a little bit, go to a hotel, take a bath, go to sleep, wake up, get breakfast, take care of my horse, and then continue on my journey. It's it's something that really does just make this game feel like you're you're really living this experience. And, you know, I, I keep saying it like I, I wasn't looking forward to that part of the game. And now that it's here, I love it. Another aspect of immersion in this game is actually the, the, the gang itself, which is the biggest part. Which is, I mean, it was a big part of Red Dead Redemption was the Dutch Vanderlyn gang. You as John Marston, you, and there were only four other survivors of the gang. gang and the entire story of it was you, was you were hunting them down for the government because the government kidnapped John Marston's wife and child and were holding them hostage unless he went out and killed his former gang brothers. Uh, so now in Red Dead Redemption 2, that it's a prequel, we get to experience the Dutch Vanderlyn gang and not just the the five characters that we knew in Red Dead Redemption 1, but the rest of the gang. And they really are a family. And, and I'm not just saying that, oh, they're a family because that's what they're supposed to be in the game. Like, they genuinely feel not just a family to themselves, but they feel like a family for you. You feel like you're a part of this family. There are so many little instances in this game where you're walking around camp and you'll stop and have a conversation with someone and they'll tell you about what they're worried about. And... You know, the, the story of it is what, what little information we got in Red Dead Redemption 1 about the breaking up of the Vanderlyn gang, or at least that incarnation of the gang, was that Dutch, quote unquote, according to John Marston, went crazy. But we don't really know much else about it, just that he went crazy. He changed, but before that, he was an amazing leader. He was like a father to them. So, you know, that change really caught him all by surprise. Well, now that we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2, we're seeing that that transition of Dutch and the gang kind of not going crazy, but moving further and further towards extremes that at the beginning of this gang, their ideals were that they weren't going to do these things, but more and more they start doing worse and worse things. And yes, they're a gang. They're definitely the outlaws in this world, but they truly do see themselves as kind of Robin Hood-esque. They're robbing from the rich and giving to the poor and they're poor, so they're giving to themselves. Uh, but they are outlaws. But the, you know, more and more as the game as the game progresses, is you're seeing that change in Dutch and the rest of the gang, and it's kind of heartbreaking because so much of this gang is about just them being a family. And there's so many little moments that aren't even like they're not part of a mission. They're not part of any game experience where you're going to get like gear from doing it or anything there's just so many little moments with this gang with this family that stand out that really pull you in and make you feel like you're a part of this family one of them sticks out to me so far uh, of the many of the many little experiences in this game one stands out and it's one it was like it was early morning i was walking around the camp and suddenly you hear jack who Jack, uh, if you played Red Dead Redemption 2, you know who Jack is. You know his importance in the overall story of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, so you know who Jack is, but in Red Dead Redemption 2, he's only like five or six. So that would probably put Red Dead Redemption 2 happening 
maybe uh, maybe 10 years within within 10 years of uh red dead redemption red dead redemption red dead redemption 2 to red dead redemption uh, maybe 10 years time difference uh but in this game jack is just like five or six years old and suddenly you hear him like yelling look a dog a dog and he runs off to go look at it and then dutch walks up and you know dutch is teaching him it's like well you know if you're gonna keep a dog you have to take care of it you have to look out for it you know and you look after him he'll look after you and he's like okay i'll do it uncle dutch and it's just such a pure moment like and i had to take a picture of it which this game does have a photo a photo mode which maybe that's the one thing i can critique of this game is the photo mode is that it's not that great but again it's also 1899 you don't have a cell phone that you can take selfies with you have this old timey picture box camera that like if you want to take a selfie you at least story wise you basically set it up away and then it's like you're someone else controlling the the camera as you focus uh focus on the picture with arthur morgan but like that but still like what what's there is still good and you still get really good pictures uh, but I wanted to take a picture of it, not just to share on social media, but because I wanted the gang, I wanted the Vanderlyn gang to have this picture to remember this just absolutely pure, innocent moment between this larger-than-life gang leader and this five-year-old kid who grows up to become fairly significant in the story of Red Dead Redemption. So, it, And that's just one of many moments. This game... Like that's my biggest that's my biggest praise for this game of the many amazing wonderful things I have to say about it. The biggest thing is that it really is just the best and most authentic immersive experience that a game has ever done. And plenty of games have tried to do that. Like m just about at most of Rockstar's games have tried to not not tried to have put some elements of immersion and living within the world they've created for you to play the missions in but uh, you know in between you can go do other stuff and live in this world but like they never like they're never that close to a truly immersive experience and bethesda tries it uh, maybe not with all their games but definitely with fallout and elder scrolls they you know really go for that immersive experience uh and then the closest that i'd seen was probably uh grand theft auto 5 and grand theft auto online where there was just so much to do. There was an entire, you know, part of a state of San Andreas that you could really move around in. You could go to restaurants. You could go see movies, watch TV, do drugs. You, like, you could do so many things in both Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto Online. But none of them, like, Red Dead Redemption 2 is the first game of the games that I have played that is the truly, at this point, quintessential immersive experience it is a game that you can truly lose yourself in and live in this world live in this video game like vr is like starting to become a big thing that i'm, I'm not really excited about it yet i'll get excited about vr whenever it's like sword art online levels of vr and yes me getting trapped in that vr world included i'll be totally okay with that um but you know that's when i'll get excited about vr but if we ever get to that point and i can play virtual reality of red dead redemption 2 hook me up to an iv put me in the vr and just let me live because that's all i'm ever going to want to do is i'm just going to want to live in this world uh and that's the other thing that is upcoming with red dead redemption 2 is red dead online which is going to be the grand theft auto online of red dead redemption 2 it's going to be the same world the same map but going to be an mmo experience that's multiplayer and you can do other stuff what other stuff exactly you can do we're not sure yet uh you know if you if we want to use which obviously we would use grand theft auto online as a example or basis of what to expect with red dead redemption or red dead online uh it couldn't get it, it's gonna get pretty crazy as, as grounded as Red Dead Redemption 2 is in a realistic world, uh, Grand Theft Auto Online at this point, like, you're running clubs, you're a billionaire in penthouses with flying cars and jetpacks and racetracks literally floating in the sky. Like, it got crazy. Grand Theft Auto Online, uh, as fun as it is, it's gotten crazy, so I, I would not be surprised if Red Dead Online follows that same example and we're going to have, like, pegasus horses flying around the sky and just you know tr and and like pimp my ride versions of carriage races 
uh, that is just going to get insane, which might not be a bad thing. Uh, but but that's the thing I like about Grand Theft Auto Online, and what I'm hoping to like about Red Dead Online is that I can create my character how I want and just explore and live in this world. Uh, you know, the thing I don't like about Grand Theft Auto Online is actually is is actually part of that multiplayer experience. Because, like I said, it gets crazy, and dealing with other players in that game in, like, a free roam, or even in missions. Like, trying to work work together with other players in missions is really... It, it, it's never worked out. So maybe I'm just terrible at it. I don't know, but it's never worked out for me. But playing in this world is is what I'm looking forward to with Red Dead Online, is creating my own cowboy. And, and I honestly, I hate using the term cowboy, because that's a really overgeneralized term for you know people in the wild west because not all people in the wild west were cowboys cowboys was a specific occupation was a specific job that ranchers did who they dealt with the cattle they dealt with the cows that's why they're called cowboys but now we're but but now well not even now for as long as i can remember we've just referred to anyone from that time wearing a cowboy hat and cowboy clothes just as cowboys but you know that's that, that that's a that's just a, just me bickering about something completely irrelevant. Uh, but yeah, make my own cowboy and explore and live in this world in Red Dead Online. It's something I'm really looking forward to. Like, like I said, I, there's nothing that I can really find that is a big critique of this game. There's nothing, uh, you know, aside from just wanting more from the photo mode. This game, like, I said it about God of War. Up until now, as far as I was concerned, of the big games I've played, and I'd like to think that I've played the big games of 2018, God of War was game of the year. Like, God of War came out within six months ago, and as far as I'm concerned, this was, like, this was it. This was game of the year, and I would always say this, that I don't like to throw around the words perfect game carelessly, but God of War is the closest thing that's come to it. And now, with Red Dead Redemption 2... I feel like I have to now enhance that phrase for Red Dead Redemption 2 that I don't like to throw around the words perfect game carelessly, but Red Dead Redemption 2 might be it. Like, it might be, if not only game of the year, unless Fallout 76 comes out in the next few weeks and just knocks it out of the park, Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to be game of the year, and it might. I don't want to say this 100% for certain, but I've been thinking about it. If there's a game I've played that was better than this, but Red Dead Redemption 2 might not only be my most favorite game I've ever played, it might be the best game that I've ever played. And I know that's a bold statement, and again, I don't want to say that with 100% confirmation that that's what I'm saying. I'm just... I'm trying... Like, if I was making a list... Of the best games, what I've done lists of my favorite games and the best story games and the best games I've ever played and my favorite games I've ever played. But if I was making a list, which I will be before the end of this year, Red Dead Redemption 2 is at the top of all of them. It is, as far as I can tell, just a perfect game. And I, that, that that's a bold statement, I know. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll get to a point in this game where that just ruins everything. It's like, oh, this garbage now. But I haven't gotten there yet. And I, I don't think I'm going to get there. Uh, it, it At the very least, at this point in the early November of 2018, I'm going to say Red Dead Redemption 2 is game of the year. Fallout 76 is the only other big game that I, that I can think of that's coming out in 2018. The other bigger games that we're waiting for are going to be 2019, but, you know, in 2018, the only one we're waiting on is Fallout 76, which I'm very much looking forward to. But un unless Fallout 76 just completely blows it away, knocks it out of the park, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is game of the year, hands down. God of War is a, it's not a close second, but I would put it at second. But Red Dead Redemption 2, game of the year, possibly, if not the one of the best games I've ever played. 
But now I want to hear from you. What did you think of Red Dead Redemption 2 and are you as head over heels in love with it as I am? What do you think of the immersive experience? I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments of this video or on any of my social media what you think of Red Dead Redemption 2. What are you looking for with Red Dead Online? And if you wanted to let me know what you're gaming on, if you want your answer to be featured in an upcoming video, let me know what you're gaming on in the comments of this video or on any of my social media. If you want to read my written review of Red Dead Redemption 2 and other video games, as well as Marvel movies and TV shows, go to go to my website at www.treyguillotine.com if you're an if you're a writer and you are looking for an editor for at affordable prices to help you with your uh, to help you with your work with your manuscript please contact me. I also have that at www.treyguillotine.com. Just click on the tagged editing tab and let's get, let's start working together. So if you're a writer and look for editing, look for tagged editing at that website and follow me on all the internets and subscribe to my channel to geek out some more. Thanks for watching and have fun.